we are here at beautiful Carmelitos Community Center to celebrate the deployment of 20 new EV charging stations. This project stands as a model of what's possible when public and private entities join forces to expand equitable access to clean transportation, especially in communities that need it the most. The transition to electric vehicles and the infrastructure required uh, to make that happen is so important and it takes a village. It's starting from our partnership with LACTA, which is the county's public housing agency, allowing us to site charging stations to serve the more than 730 families at this site. If you look at public housing developments throughout this country, you're not going to see EV charging stations at public housing communities. We should be making those investments so that these types of resources and amenities are available to all communities. And then we also have our technology providers uh, like PowerFlex, uh, whose technology is so critical to enable the rapid scale up. This particular installation is one of more than 100 sites that we've done with the County of Los Angeles. Those chargers benefit from what we call ALM, Adaptive Load Management. That's a technology we developed that allows to put more chargers at a given electric capacity without having to go through utility upgrades. We also have community members who are partners with us on this transition. It's so important to engage directly with the community and listen to what they need. Uh, we feel that it is very awesome to bring uh, new opportunities for our community to be able to charge their cars here close to home. I feel it's friendly for the environment and us so we don't have to deal with all the smog with pollution. Something that is very interesting here is that you're going to not only serve the community, but also you're serving some workers that have fleet vehicles that they use for work that need to be charged. So we have a fleet that's spread out well, around 68 developments across the county. And so as we're looking to convert that fleet over to electric vehicles, we lack the infrastructure to do that. So this creates an opportunity to now convert that fleet. These efforts demonstrate LA County's deep commitment to clean transportation and to ensuring that this transition happens equitably so that no community is left behind. <laughs>